Hi everyone. Um, if you've been following my channel, you'll know I love to try out a few experiments. And here's my newest one. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you've probably seen that I have actually um, done one of my dot mandalas uh, using a cake board. Um, the other one was a round gold one. This time I've got a square one from Poundland. It only cost a pound. And um, it's been bugging me for days as to if you could actually use one of these boards for encaustic art. Now the weird thing is, the one I've actually <laughs> chosen out, the ones that I have here, has actually got an impurity in it. And I know you can see that on the video. Um, so of all the ones to try out, this would be an actually a really good one to do it on um, because that would really show up if you was doing the, the dot mandalas. Um, you'd have to be quite clever to get around that one. So keeping it all cheap, so I've got this board and I've also got my Wilco Chunky um, waxes here as well. And because in, in Janet's head, okay, in Janet's head, this is shiny, like the paper that we buy. So surely that would mean um, you, could, you could actually do the encortic art on it. So I'm just going to turn my iron on and give that a chance to warm up. Yep. So we're going to give that a chance to warm up a little bit. Um, so what, what, if this works, in my ideal world, not only could I do the encaustic art on the board, but I could probably do a dot mandala on top. Um, no idea at the moment. It's all experimental. So you might see a dot mandala at the end, or I might say, you know what, I'm just going to leave it at this. Or I might say, you know what, this isn't going to work. Um, I really hope it's not that one really hope it's not so because I am thinking in the mind of maybe doing something else on it afterwards I don't want it to be too busy um, so I'm going to go for um, what color shall I use um, purple okay so me wires are getting caught up here <laughs> So let, let's have a go, shall we? So, as you all know, you want a fair bit on your iron. Ooh, hopefully you can see that in shot. Because I haven't got enough hands. And I'm just going to see, will it cover it? Or is it all going to just melt? All right, okay. So for this to cover, we're going we're gonna to need quite a bit. So, um... And I'll... I'll try not to ruin Jan in the process. <laughs> oh. I'm making a nice mess at the moment. <laughs> because it's such a big area as well, it doesn't help. Really, it's just... It's just shining at the moment. <laughs> In life, you don't know if something's going to work. Well, oh, I like it when you do that because then you end up with stripes. I like stripes. Do you still have the stripes if you just go like that? Not quite. Get as much on there as I can without it going absolutely dripping all over me. I don't particularly want to end up in A and E. Just keep going. 
keep going. So I'm going to go quiet so that I can speed this up for you. Well, as you can see, I've managed to get a good covering on the board. Um, it's really textured, so if you like textured art, you will love this, I tell you. So let's give it a buff up and, and see what it looks like afterwards. It's nice because even though you've got a, a covering on there, some of that gold... Um, You can't see actual gold, but the, the lightness of it is still coming through. You know, it's not completely solid, which is what I like. And by doing this, it's, I am putting a bit of welling into this. Um, it's nice because, like, actually, that's tissue. <laughs> I thought it was wax. Well, it's good anyway. I don't want any loose bits, do we? Look at that. I'll hold this up a bit. Zoom in a little bit for you. So that's a nice little background. Got some nice shapes in here. Oops, sorry, just saw how. Perhaps I need to keep it zoomed out for you. <laughs> Um, it's nice, um, got some wings going on here, <laughs> I can see a lot in this picture, um, definitely a lot going on in there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put the flash on because I think you'll, you'll see more then, so hop, just bear with me a moment. Because I've got that flash on, it's shining on bits where there was gold as well. Are you liking what you're seeing? Oh, looks like you could have had um, a child there with her arm up. <laughs> oh, popping in to wave hello. Someone's got their arms stretched out, looking up to the sky. And this isn't blue. I know it looks a bit blue, but it's, it's not. Um, that is purple obviously because you saw that just now but um that bit there it just just reminds me of angel wings lots of different stuff going on loving it closer to you make it better or worse lots going on which we would expect from a um, caustic art piece of work. 
Oh, can you see that hand there? And it looks like it's got light coming from it. Oh, there's a lot in this picture. If you're somebody who likes to scry artwork afterwards, <laughs> this is definitely one that you'd like. <laughs> I'm really not sure if I want to put something else on this afterwards because uh, I think that is really lovely like that. Um, So yes, you can use a cake board. It takes a lot more wax, which is another reason why I use one of the, the Wilco waxes that I have, um, Chunky and Crowns, because um, I guess it was going to probably use a lot. So rather than use my expensive waxes, that's why I use them ones. I, I'm just loving this. It's so textured. Beautiful. I'm definitely liking this. So there you go. So what should we do? Should we put some more colour on? I'm going to put some more colour on. I'm going to put a different colour. I'm, I'm just going to keep working on this and not worry about the other art at the moment. As you can see, I use quite a bit of this covering the board. So use the colour you don't want as much. <laughs> right, so. Um, um, what colour should we go for now? What's going to complement? I think blue will. I think blue will complement it. I'm going to have to learn how to do this iron left-handed because I, I find it quite difficult sometimes to use my right hand <laughs> when you're doing this as well with the left hand. Right, let's just wait for that to warm up a bit. Preferably not doing it the way I did by putting your finger on it. If you get burnt, yes, it's working. It's not a good way of working. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to cover that in the blue. I get quite a bit on there and I'm going to do it as though it's a sky. But I really just go <laughs> Ooh. Do some more going in this direction. Depends on my iron, you know, when I'm doing this. I know it's kind of a bit... I'm overworking it. But I really want to... That's better. So I can get some textures coming in there. Definitely liking that. Ready if I go for another colour. I'm going to um, go to the other blue because it looks a bit darker a bit more, and a bit more vivid. So I'm going to go for that one. It's more your turquoise. I'm really into turquoise at the moment. Turquoisey, cobalt, bluey kind of colour. And uh, just going to Oh, my heart's desire. Mm. 
No particular roadmap. No particular plan. If it decides to leave a little bit of blue on that bit, then brilliant. If it doesn't, no worries. So now I'm going to go for the uh, the yellow. Um, hopefully it won't make all the blue go green. But, uh, if it does, it was supposed to. Whoops, got quite a bit on there. Don't want to go too mad. It's quite bright. I see it's gone. A bit more of a musty goldy colour here. And because I can, I'm going to try the other one. No, no, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back to the. I'm going to go to the pink. Ooh. Be careful because I just realised I'd um, brought the gold surface back through again, so I must have been digging harder than what I meant to, pressing harder than I meant to. sound effects when you do of course they are <laughs> I'm the only weirdo in the village <laughs> it's all getting mixed up anyway so I'm not going to bother seeing the iron this time Take to think how much it would cost to buy a proper piece of encaustic card. Can you buy encaustic card? I don't know actually. Um, a board this colour, this size. Sorry, it'd be quite expensive. I don't think you'd be getting that for a pound. Um, a bit more pink. See, when I do those little ones, I get bored really quickly because, to me, I, I like art to take a while. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't feed me enough. See, wherever it wants to leave a little bit of paint, there we are. Paint wax. And turn it around so you can see the other side as well. So I know the light's hitting it differently. Um, I don't want to bring any more colours in because I've already got so many already. You can ruin artwork if you've got too many different colours in it. A 
a bit of a wavy effect. I just feel like I want to fan it a little bit. Now where I put that yellow earlier, um, because I know the board is gold, to me it just makes it look like the board's showing through. So I'm going to go over that bit. It's not the board shining through, but to me it just makes me feel like it is. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the pink on that bit. covering on the iron. There's a lot of wax on this board. Right. I'm going to call that finished, at least for the moment, anyway. Um, There you go, one cake board, very much transformed, um, lots going on in here, I'm sure if you're watching you'll probably see things that I can't even see, um, turn it around a little bit for you. Lots in there lovely piece of abstract art, I think. I love all the different things you see. Feels like a person, this is like the face shoulders and this is the hair you got this bit here which is interesting it's like a big gay doesn't it so there you go one piece of um, one cake board. Yes, you can use encaustic art um, for encaustic art. I think the colours would have been a lot more vibrant if I'd used the the other um, the other waxes. To be quite honest, um, 
because it's quite hard to get a sheen up unless it's because of how thick it is but have a go and uh, you know the balls only cost night only cost a pound or perhaps you've got an old one in the cupboard somewhere but um definitely is great fun try all your different techniques and uh, let me know how you get on and you might see this transformed into something else i haven't decided yet but thank you for watching